All right, here we go. What's up everybody? Thanks for joining me here in the studio. I got some stuff I've been working on and I want to talk to you guys today in this video about uh, the Wotion here again. How to uh, program the side keys and uh, it's pretty cool. But um, how to do it from the front screen and then how to do it in Chirp. So I'm going to try and keep this short, but I got this, came up with this kind of a cool thing. So here's what I'm doing here. I got it plugged into um, the computer with the red cable. I keep saying the red cable, but people don't know, you know, I didn't know until somebody told me or I saw it, but I, I'm, I'm going to take this off, but I want to show you guys this, what I've been using just for HT stands. This is a uh, just a cell phone Lucrave L U C R A V Lucrave and it's adjustable. It's really cool. You can adjust it and it sits like this. That's how I just kind of have my cell phone sitting here on the desktop. Or you can have a, a little holder like that. But, um, Anyhow, I've just been turning it up like this. These are about 10 or 12 bucks a piece. This is a bigger one. They got all kinds. They got two packs of these. Um, several different colors. But I just put it on the, the back here. Just like that. Let's let it sit there. Oh, that string's getting, or the lanyard's getting in my way. Sometimes I like lanyards, sometimes I don't. When I'm doing this stuff, I don't. So yeah, there it goes. Just sits right on the back like that. Pretty cool. And it's sturdy. You know, I just have it sitting here. Especially when I'm trying to do something with my hands, I can just look at the radio and um, I'm not... Geez, radios, you know, they tip over all the time. Um... It's hard to handle and, and stuff, especially when you're trying to do something like this. But anyhow, I want to show you guys real quick how to program. Let's get over here to uh, Chirp. I want to show you guys how to do this through the, um, the Chirp program. Make sure this is it big enough. Okay, so all you do, it's real simple. So I've, what I've done is I've gone from radio to up or download from radio. And you go over here to settings. Oops, I'm clicking on the wrong thing, guys. Sorry. My bad. I'm still learning. So we go to um, settings. So radio here, download from radio, and then over to settings. And then in configuration, you have all of these cool, cool things. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Transmit timeout, timeout timer. Um, you got your backlight. Backlight I have set. Yeah, all kinds of stuff you can see kind of. But then what you do to program the keys, you go over to key settings. It's super easy, guys. This is in the manual too. But I just wanted to show you guys kind of before you buy all this stuff. It's kind of my point in doing a review is you can make a decision on what you want to do before you buy it. I haven't seen a ton of reviews. I've seen a lot of unboxing and a couple different things about the Ocean programming and whatever, but... Um, especially with my last two uh, videos 
I want to let me finish this, but then I will talk about that. So program keys, there's top, middle, and bottom. So one, two, and three. And then you just click the menu and you can choose what you want. And I have my top button at, set to off, but SFTX is secondary frequency transmit. If you had that set like that, your top button on the side button would transmit on the lower band. I just have it set off because that's kind of confusing to me. So what I did is I went down to the third key, the lower key, and I had that set to uh, secondary frequency transmit. Just in my mind, bottom button, bottom band makes sense to me. You can do it however you want. So the P2 button is a little more interesting. I have mine set to scan, and I'm gonna show you guys on the, the program how to do this through the front of the radio, and you'll see what I'm talking about. But the second button I have set to scan, you can have it off, scan, second lamp, uh, SD direct, I'm not sure what those two, this one, actually, K lamp actually dims the screen uh, it's kind of, and then so you press and hold it dims it then you press and hold it, and it brings it back to Normal setting lamp is just what you think it is. It's the LED at the top uh, Second is an actual um, Stopwatch and I go over that in my uh, I'll go over that too and then scan I like setting a scan so uh, There you go. That's how you do it in chirp and then all you do is radio um, upload to radio so let's go back to uh, let's go to this. I've got a little video here. I'll show you guys. Okay, so what I want to show you guys is uh, inside the menu how to program the side keys. There's three keys on the side here. Um, let me get my light here and top key, middle key, and bottom key, programmable keys. And then there's your PTT right there. That's your PTT in the middle, this one. And then that's your top, middle, and lower. So one, two, three is what they call them. P1, P2, and P3. So they're programmable, programmable keys. And what we're going to do is go inside. You guys can look this up in the owner's manual, but this is kind of one of those things that I'm trying to do this review so that you know before you buy kind of a thing. So I wish there was a lot of stuff I knew about this radio before I bought it. But I absolutely love the radio. It's a good radio. It's just you don't see any reviews on all this stuff, especially this radio. So... All right, to program the keys, you go into menu and they're 55, 56, and 57 is the the uh, menu channels. And let's start with the top one. To program the top key is you get to channel, you press menu, scroll to 55, press menu again, and SFTX is secondary frequency transmit. So what that does, um, when you have that set, your top button, when you press and hold, it will actually transmit on the lower band, which is kind of cool. I have mine set to the lower one, P3, actually does the, the uh, transmit to the secondary frequency as well. So, But to program it and change it, you go into menu and then you click menu again and then you can scroll up and down you can turn it off caller ID alarm SOS I have not tried either one of those but um, secondary frequency transmit um, let's just turn this one off for now and to save it you just push menu and then while you're back in the menu, um, you can just scroll up to P2 and see what's available on there. And you press menu to select 
I have mine set on scan and what that will do it actually will scan the primary uh, band and then you can go to a um, second it's what that is is a uh, a stopwatch and let's try that I'll show you guys since we're here so we'll click menu to select it and then exit and then to press you press and hold and there's your stopwatch and to get back in there you push menu again menu and then menu so let's see we want to go scan or stopwatch lamp is the the LED it's just the one LED lamp and then uh, SF SDF direct I forget what that is K lamp actually will dim the main screen uh, I can show you guys that if you want let's just select it and exit and then just press and hold it will dim the screen and bring the screen back up so we'll go to menu again menu and we want to just set it on scan and menu to select so let's we'll scroll down up to the <laughs> up to the uh, programmable third uh, button and we'll go on there and it is set to transmit the secondary frequency that's what that stands for and then you can turn it off it has color ID alarm SOS and transmit so we'll just click menu to save it and we'll exit so this one the second button is set to scan and I can just scan whatever scan group that I'm in and I believe I'm in but, uh, uh, there are more dirt. and you turn the knob you can scroll back down And you can and, press scan uh, or press the side button to stop again. You can press the side button or you and, can just press uh, and hold again and it'll start again. It's got pretty good scan function. It's just not very fast, you can see. And just as a reminder, since I'm here, um, I'll have to snap a pic of my uh, six meter. Uh, all right, so um, let's see here. Let's stop that. And while we're here, to go in and change the scan group, you go to menu and menu 49 is scan group. And you click scan group, and then that's what I have in one um, memory group one. I have it local wide. Memory group two, I have local. Three, I have airband frequencies. Four, I have EMS and fire. Five, I have FRS and GMRS. Six, I have NOAA. And seven, eight, nine, and ten are open. So I have lots of frequencies left. And I only have 140 channels in this radio so far. Um, let's just scan the local, go back to um, my main one. So to save it, to choose which group you want, you just press menu and then exit. Now when you press scan either from the side button or from here depending on how you're holding the radio it will scan your whatever group that you chose it to to do. And um, remember that little star down there signifies primary channel and uh, I have 14652 simplex as my primary channel. So I'm, as I'm scanning, this automatically is going back to 14652 uh, every three seconds to check and see if there's any activity on there. So, all right, there you go. That's uh, how to scan the, or set the uh, the buttons there, programmable buttons. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I really like it. I like uh, the functionality of this more and more. 
as time goes on I'm getting used to it more and I'm figuring it out the conveniences of having all these scan groups um, it's very versatile radio and what if once you learn the menus uh, it is accessible so all right guys thanks for watching I appreciate it I hope you enjoyed and uh, we'll catch you later seven three have a good one thing all right yeah that's it I did that video separate from this video but um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it it's pretty pretty uh, straightforward but um, like I said in another video my videos are probably mostly geared for beginners but if you're tuning in to this one you probably are wanting one of these radios and like I said is uh, I wish I had somebody that did a, a I wish I had videos to watch before I bought it because I wasn't sure what I was getting in for I just kind of like hey, it is a good radio go for it well it is a good radio thank goodness but there's a lot to it and the reason I belabored the point on the first two videos of the scan groups is because it was hard for me to understand it took me a long time and I did it wrong I went through <laughs> I tried to go through the front of the radio and then I just gave up on this thing because it wasn't telling me well it's not how you do it you use chirp and you use the red cable and all that stuff so I'm trying to just share my experience with you guys but I do appreciate the good comments and uh, I try to respond to them the best I can but um, I hope this uh, helped I've got a few more coming and I want to do more on the actual performance of this radio because this thing performs super well um, maybe I can get some videos of that so anyhow thanks for watching you guys boy I really appreciate it it's the last couple of videos you guys have left some good comments and um, I'm trying to build the channel and we'll see where it goes so I've got a lot more stuff I've got some SDR stuff coming down the line I've got some regular shortwave receiver stuff uh, and a ridiculous amount of ham radio stuff and this is just radio stuff it's pretty wild I got a million things of hobbies I have too many dang hobbies so we will end the video here and I'm not 21 minutes, I'm 16 minutes. <laughs> That's a little better. All right guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one. 7-3, we'll catch you later. Peace.